Good morning. Welcome to ICAC Standard 9 Maths. Today we are doing the topic which says representing an irrational number on a number line. For this, we have to start with a number line which we will mark at 0. This will be, let us say, a 0. And we will take approximately, let us say, 3 cm to call this as 1 unit and the same distance out here and we will call that as 2nd unit. And we will show this extending on either side like so. Now, what we are going to do is use Pythagoras theorem because we know in a Pythagoras theorem in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the two sides is equal to the square on the hypotenuse. And so what we are going to do is at unit 1, this is your one unit length. And out here we put the point of compass here and we'll make two arcs on either side. Then we take these two arcs and we will make one arc from here having same radius on either side. And then we will draw a line which we are joining this point and this point of intersection. And we shall mark it with the same distance as 0 to 1. And that will be approximately here. And we will call this point as A. This is 90 degrees. This is your point B. This is your point C. Now, if you join AC, that gives you the hypotenuse. And ABC becomes a right triangle. Where we have AB as one unit. And BC also will be one unit. Now, if you look at the Pythagoras theorem. So according to Pythagoras theorem, I'm simply writing PT, we will have AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, which means that your hypotenuse square, this AC square, is equal to the sum of AB square and BC square like so. If you substitute the values, it becomes 1 square plus 1 square, which is equal to AC square. So 1 plus 1 gives you AC square, and that will give me, therefore, AC is equal to under root 2, because AC square will be equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. And we write over there root 2 units. Now that we know this, we will just write over here that this is your under root 2 units. Now, we have to mark root 2 units from A to C. You have to mark it on number line. So we will put the point of compass here at A. Take the radius up to AC and we will draw the arc which will be something like this. Let us call this point as point D. And now, at this point, this point D, if you look at this measure from here to here, from here to here becomes root 2 units. From here to here. So that's how we mark the first irrational number, that is root 2 units, when we talk about the positive irrational numbers. Now, at D, if you again take... From D, if you take again two arcs on either side and from each one of these arcs, if you draw the intersecting arc, arcs, then you will have from D, if you join this and you produce the same distance as from 0 to 1, that is 3 centimeters, then this point that we have marked this is going to be, let us say, point E. Now, if you join E and A, this DE is one unit, and, and from A to D is root two units. So now, we will take in 
right triangle EDA according to Pythagoras theorem. By now you know which is Pythagoras theorem. We will have hypotenuse of this triangle where this is 90 degrees. The hypotenuse that is AE square will be equal to DE square plus AB square. So now we write exactly the same thing. So we will have AE square is equal to AB square plus DE square. Substituting the values, AD is how much? Root 2. So we do root 2 square plus 1 square. That gives us 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 and that will give us therefore AE is equal to under root 3 units. And so in order to mark it on the number line we are going to take the radius from O to E which is root 3 units. We will mark the point of compass at A, take the radius up to E like so and draw the arc like so. So this one over here let us say is point, point F and this from here up to here is going to give us root 3 units. So this is where you will get your length from here to here. Now, you can go on and on like this. Supposing, let us say you want, you want to represent root 5 unit. You, root 5, 5 units. Obviously, we are going to think of root 5 square because root 5 is going to be equal to one of the hypotenuses and that will be equal to 5 which you will split as the two square numbers. So, you will have 1 and plus the other number that is 4. So that is going to give us actually 1 square plus 2 square. So from 2, if I take A to 2, we'll call this point as G. If you do the same procedure, let us see how we did that. If you take point 2, 2 over here and draw the arcs on either side and use each one of these arcs over here, the intersection, to get two intersecting arcs having the radii equal and then if you take this you will again get a perpendicular line so this will become 90 degrees this is point g so we will take from here to here this is your one unit as usual as we did in the preceding two times how we took this one unit now this becomes after g comes h so you will have now from H, I use another color for that. I will use from A to H, I will join like so. You can use the ruler. And then you will see that in this triangle, which one? A, G, H. Let's do it mentally now because you have understood. Now in this right triangle, which is the hypotenuse? A, H. So our A, H square will be equal to G, H square plus A, G square. So now that you got it, you will realize that from this you will have AH square will be equal to GH square plus AG square and <clears throat> GH square is one unit so it becomes one square plus AG from here to here is two units that is two square that gives you one plus four which is equal to five. So our AH becomes under root 5 units and if we take now the radius from A to H keeping the point of compass where? At A. Stretch the pencil of the compass up to here. I don't have a large compass so I am doing like so. So from A to H and then you will go like so. When you draw the arc whatever length you get over here that you will mark as I. Now this point from here to here this if you measure from here it is representing, I'll use another color there. So from here up to here, this is going to be root 5 units. 
So, so on, so on and so forth, you are going to do the representation of the irrational numbers on the number line. So, to sum it up, what did we see? We saw root 2 units, which was from A to B. We saw root 3 units, which was from A to F. And the next arc is here, where we saw from A to I, giving you root 5 units. So, I hope you have understood how to construct and represent an irrational number on the number line. Thank you for watching.